Yeah, he was there in two. The five hundred souls. Yeah. yeah, it's measured. It's crazy. The same as your followers. Right? Same as the followers. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, it there was, was a whole room of people learning. I went in there. I was learning. For we five. finished yeah. all Zera Shimshon in one night. Wow. That was the goal. Wow. Oh, so get, everybody learned their everybody, own Everybody, we printed all the papers. Everyone got eight pages. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay? And we, we made how they get to everybody, 300 people, 280, actually, 280 people. There was more people that wanted, but we, we, we didn't have any, didn't have any more papers. And we there cut. were by far more people than the, uh, learning than at the dinner. There was, yeah. Yeah, there well, there was 200 still... people at the dinner. Right. About 200. Okay? And it was about 280 people learning. So it's 480. Like together, it's almost 500, yeah. And the rabbi was very happy. He's really The next day, I went to the court deal with my friends, and we ended up learning at the court deal. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I was very, uh, very honored to do that. And a, a random guy came and sat with us. So we learned for two hours instead of one because I went over everything again. <laughs> and it was very nice. It was really, it was really a big zikhut, such a zikhut to be a part of it. The, the yeshuot that we hear from it is crazy. I want to see if I can get your Gold to do a spread on it. You ever hear your Gold? Yeah. I want to see stories, it. yeah, they're yeah, great. I, it's much it's better. It's as well. Yeah, but it's much better if the stories are testimonies. Right. So that's what I want to get. I want to get testimonies. He's in L.A. You can ask him. Look, Jonah, Jonah Brook is best friends with him. He said, whatever oh, you want to call him. Makes sense. So, anyway, so the really, the, 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 but what the best part is, right now, back, right back to it. Right back to it. You know what I mean? Kept, let you start... You finish Zot Beracha, you start right Bereshi Parayel Kiva Tashimai Vetan. There's no break. Mm-hmm. I remember by last year, I did a cute video where I don't like doing videos, period. I'm just not, I don't like it. But I, I took a picture of my, of my Hazon Ovadia, Hazon Ovadia Yosef Halachot on Yom, on Yom Tov. Right? I put it, I, I put, I took it, I put it back. And I think I took like Purim, like the next one, like a video of me putting the one in, or Pesach. Pesach was over. And I put, took like the next one, you know, like Shavuot or whatever. I don't know, but it's sure there's no there's no stopping. We're on, we're on. We're well, on. that's the unbelievable thing. In, <clears throat> we're very lucky on many levels, and I'm not talking about Torah, religion. We are actually really lucky. The, the rest of the world, they, for example, retire, and there's nothing to do. The point of life goes away. With Jews, with religious Jews, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You could be working, you could be married, you could be a father, you could be a son, whatever. The main point is learning Torah, and that goes nowhere. It doesn't go stale. It has no bottom, or whatever, the ceiling. And your life... <clears throat> um, Continues. Like, you can be a classical musician, and you've played everything there is written for your instrument. And you've played with orchestras, and you've played in different concert halls. Right, after, At some point, you're like, okay, what else can what? I possibly do? Right. I've programmed everything I could have programmed. Not by us. Not what by can us. I possibly do? The mo- by us, what do you mean opposite. here? Start from the beginning. Right. If there's nothing else. There's always something else. Which would, whatever and whatever you think you did, go back because you didn't do it right. Because there's more to it. It's unbelievable. So we're going to go keep it say We're going to do Darush Aleph. Open up. Darush Aleph. For life until the end of your presence here. Right, then starts the real Go stuff. Anyway. The parasha starts with Kit Etzel Mirhama, right? And mm-hmm. it says in the Sifri that it's talking specifically about Mirhamet Reshut. What is Mirhamet Reshut? It means a Mirhama, a Mirhama that anybody could, uh, a Mirhama that you're going for Reshut, not a Mirhama that is, uh, that is Hova, right? Like you have, you have an obligation they go after 31 kings, Yeshua, had an obligation to go after 31 kings. This concept of the Hama and taking Isha Yifa Toad is specifically about Mirhamet uh, Reshut, not Mirhamet Choba, that Hashem commanded you to go take, okay, to make a war. So it says, Mirhamet Reshut Akadu Medaber, Mirhamet Eretz Yisrael Kiti Behud Lot Tehaye Kodesh Shema. Why? Because regarding the Mirhama of Choba, uh, when Yeshua came in, you had to decimate everybody. You had to kill everybody. It was not allowed to anybody to be remaining inside of Israel. As Yeshua went in, we eradicated everybody that was in it as we came in. Okay? The question is, the question is, 
if the isur, why why is why are we allowed to take a woman in war? Because ayet sarah is mitkaber on us because we have this animalistic instinct that's on us, and because we're allowed to do that, we're we're allowing you to do it beheted, as so you don't do it the isur. Because if you do a bet, if you do a bet, if, because if you go to war and you see this woman, you're going to take it regardless. If you take it regardless, then at least let's, I should say I'm going to make it a mutafu, not not a suit, because you're going to do it anyway. So in order to protect us, you made it, you made it, you made it uh, a suit, you made it mutaf. Question is, why does this not count for milhamet choba? Same yetzid, same animalistic instinct, but yet it's only mutad. For mechemet reshut, not mechemet chobah. The word doesn't say the same animalistic desires. War is war. No, because holy war is something that comes from Hashem, has a completely different. I'm guessing, obviously. I mean, suggest. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. If that's different true, sec- if that was true, yeah. then Abraham Avinu would not be afraid when he did pidyon shivuyim to go get Lot. When he when he went to war, four kings, five kings, all right, and the four kings won. And then uh, uh, Abraham steps in and whatever. He was afraid that now that he had the taste of blood, he, his animal instinct oh. is going to come out. Okay, could be. Specifically. So when you kill someone, God forbid, I'm not exactly, you know, baki in that, but I'm just saying, it's heavy stuff. It's not a joke. So if that's the case, why, why does it why does it not include from the Hamid Hoba? How come Hashem doesn't give us this out? Like he does for, for Hamid Rashut. Like, uh, that's the right way to say it. The one that you want, right? Versus the one that you're not allowed. Because we know. Okay, I'll, I'll sum it up. We're gonna, this is going to be a short. Are you good with that? I'm going to make this into a short. The re, Yoshua sent out. Three. When I said that, he said that he killed everybody before he did. Before he went to war, he sent out three uh, letters to all the kings, everybody that lived there, and he made it, and he made it, uh, and he gave him three options. You have three options. He says, one, you could go relocate, leave, leave. We won't touch you. Second one is make peace with us, and you know, be like uh, what's it called? You'd be a get or something. Stay with us. Third one is prepare for war. Okay? And you have the Girshoni, I think, uh, did the peace. The Givonim, well, I think they got Africa. They got Africa, because it says in the Gemara that a land just as pretty as Yehuda is talking about Africa usually. Judah is talking about Africa. And the 31 kings, that's why they were 31, because it was really a couple more. But really 31, because they're the ones that said we're going to war. And, but you see, you see from this that what? That those the thirty one kings that's where it gets it gets included with Lotahe Koneshama. Right? And this is the reason that they accepted the Havazona. The Havazona, this was before but if, if the Pasuk says you have to kill Lotahe Koneshama, no one could survive. If nobody could survive, how did Rahav marry Yoshua? Because she made Teshuva. And the fact that she made Teshuva allows her to stay here. So what does that mean? If a person that we know the land will not accept anybody, right? It says that it's go, it's going to leave you very quickly. It's going to spit you out if you don't do it right. We talk about this a lot. We talk about this a lot. It's important to know that you live in Israel. You have a responsibility. You have a responsibility more than you had in the states, okay? Or Russia. Why? Because you're in God's land. And God gave it to you, so you need to be responsible. So, but if you're not, the land's going to spit you out. The the uh, Yeshua sent these th- these letters, these options to the kings, because if you're willing to make the shua, you could stay. You don't have to leave, because the land could with could sustain you, and could handle you. If not, then it can't handle you, right? It says, and so the same thing with Israel. The Israel, if we don't listen to the to the Nevi, if we lo, don't listen to our rabbis, even today, but Beit Hamikdash Shishon, Beit Hamikdash Sheni, we had armies, we had people, we had these things. We were by the Shishon, we were on top of the world, and we fell. How could it be? Because we didn't listen. We didn't keep Shabbat. We didn't do what we were supposed to do. 
crazy is that? It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, we're looking from here. It's like, what? You had a bet amigdash with miracles, open miracles in your face nonstop. How do you go and violate the word? I mean, we live in a... Yeah. We think if, we're if doing good. We think see, we're doing good. We, we don't know nothing. Well, we think. But are we acting partially on, on, on belief. And then? There, there was no belief. Hashem was in your face. Oh, because you had the... Oh, because you had the... Uh, yeah, you yeah, had miracles every day the Beit Yeah. Well, they, because Yeravam didn't allow all of Israel to go. Remember, you had the 10 right. Shabbat team already broke up. You know, 10 and 12 and 2. So the 10 weren't allowed to go. And that's why the, the last one, who was the last king? It says that she, 10 generations yeah. of Abu Dazara. The last one wasn't as bad as the others, but yet he was the one that the Bidu was destroyed, right? And why? Because he was the one that took away the, 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 the soldiers from the entrances to leave yeah, the he city. Opened the so he opened up the roads. So Bidu said, can go. If the Bidu didn't want to go, let them go. And nobody went. And nobody went. So because nobody went, Hashem said, okay, now you're out. Well, that's not Zohar Zerushim. That's uh, Nachman Kahana. No, it's also Zerushim. He says, and nobody went. And now we have Eretz Israel. And people continue living in America like nothing changed, and they're comfortable with it. I, I will I will be here to defend them, yes. the ones inside yes. of America. To Me tell too. you, while we were on the but plane, we were crying. Someone asked a we question. Had, he we said, had no idea what we were doing. The golden calf was made right after the miracles of the Machus and the Geula, the redemption. Same question there. Huh? The the what? The yeah, the golden calf. Ask it again, please. The golden covers are made right after the miracles of the plagues and the redemption. Uh, which... So there's times of revelation, and yet we're still full. Oh, so I'll tell you, the Egil was different. The Egil happened, I'll tell you something even crazy about the Egil. The fact, how could, it's a great question, how could you fall? You saw, you, had, you were so inspired. So inspired. You had Hashem coming out, the... And then also we did the Egil. How could it be? The answer is that inspiration without Torah is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. As easily as you go up is as fast as you come down. Mm -hmm. We had the Asir di but we didn't have the rest of the Torah yet. Moshe went back up to get it. Mm -hmm. So when well, we didn't have it, and we were all, okay, let's do, what, let's do what we think is right, but we don't have any guidance, it's very dangerous. Just like in business, by the way. I want to do good, I want to do good, but if you do the wrong thing, you're going you're gonna to lose money. It's not all, of, you need your inspiration, it needs to be contained. You need to have a keli. You are the keli, the Torah it, it puts you in the keli, and then you can go very far, much further than you ever think you can go. But only if you learn halacha, only if you learn gemar, you understand? This, that's how you're going to be. Yeah. How do you expect to build the building without having an architect? I want to build it. I'll buy all the tools. Great. But if I put the things like this instead of like this, then my, my thing's going to look retarded. It's not crazy. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, back to what we were saying. That's why your partner needs to be as a Canadian. You're like, yeah, we can do it. He's like, eh, I'm not so sure. Right. Chaim and Yerushalayim, you know that? So listen, so the whole thing about, you, 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 about, about grabbing a woman, why it doesn't work yeah. with the... With the with the with the you know, Hamet Hova is because it's a signal, it's a it's a siman, it's a reminder. They are here. You're coming against them because they didn't listen, and they're allowing the Yetzer Aras to take over them. That's why the land is kicking them out, and that's why you're coming and you got to kill everybody because they had the option to convert, they had the option to make peace and to travel and go find. We'll give you another land, and they didn't take it. They did not take it. So now you are physically removing them, and remember that can happen to you. So it's a suit for you to have this because you need to learn to control your yetzara if you're going to live here. And that's why the first reason, he's going to give you three different reasons. That's the first reason why the Zed is saying, it's crazy. Why Yisha Yifat Tuat is not allowed to be taken in a, in a milhamet hova. Because when you're taking over the land, it's specifically meant to show you that you have a responsibility when you're here. You can't just go to the beach and chill. It's not what you respond. Not what's going to help 
The land can't tolerate it. It can't tolerate it. It needs to be done. You need to be responsible. You can go out and do what you want, but you better make sure you learned in the morning. And you better make sure you learn at night. And you better make sure you say Berachot. Tanei Develial says that what does Hashem want? Hashem wants you to live in the land, speak Lashon HaKodesh, and eat the perot, the fruits of Israel, and live in purity. That's all he wants. Three things. That's Tanei Develial Navi says. Lashon HaKodesh, talking Lashon HaKodesh, eat the perot, eat the land, good. That's what it's there for. And be pure. What is being pure? Kiddushim to you. Watching your eyes, watching your mouth, watch what you touch. Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh. Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh. You have to cut the, right. From the backyard. Huh? We're eating uh, plums from here to the backyard. Are you? That's cool. Bring us some. Share the wealth. Uh, you know what? I didn't think about it. I could have. So that's the first reason. The second reason, the second reason is different. It says, the Rambam says what well, in, in Hilchot Melachim, it says there's no Eshek Yifat Torah Muter only only in the time of capture, right? But not, but the, what does that mean, the time of capture? It means after the war. You can't, you can't grab a war, you can't grab a girl while you're in the middle of war. You have other things to do, right? So he says, Bishad Shivya, what does that mean? Le'ahara mi'hama. Le'ahainu le'ahar harigata oibim. Only after you kill the enemies. You can't eat your dessert until you eat your, eat your main thing. You can't have the ice cream until you... Each is vegetables. So you gotta kill all the oh, you gotta kill all the people before you take your, your you know your the spoils. And that's what it says, Vikita it calls Zechura Lefi Harim. Harim. The Harka, then after it talks about the Rak, the Nashim, the Tav and the Behema, you're allowed to grab. Right? That you have to kill all the adults first, all the men, and then you could take the women and the children and the animals. And uh, regarding the Milhama with the Shah Umod, right? Yes, Shah Chivya Al Pinashim, after you kill the men. But regarding the Sheva Umot there's no, there's no, there's no one left. You're killing the men, you're killing the children, you're killing the women. Hashem said you have to eradicate everybody. Fumigate, done deal, gotta go. And because of that, there's no women. There's no women left. So the first exa- first thing we told you is because, is because it's a sima, it's a reminder to say, you're going to move into this land now because they're not here. you got to make sure you're going to be pure and control your yetzal. Don't allow it to take, you, take over you. You have it to the shoot, okay, it's going to happen. We're not going to push, you know, not going to push the, you know, the, the buck so much. Whatever, we'll make it mutar because it's going to do it anyway. But chava, no, you have big responsibility. Big responsibility. It's like the first time wearing a suit, you're much more careful. Second, third time you wear the suit, it's a little, it's a little, you're falling asleep on the couch on it with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first answer. The second answer is that Bob says that it doesn't matter because you got to eradicate everybody anyway. And the spoils only get split on a mirhama, they shoot, right? Only after all the enemies are killed, right? But regarding the mirhama of Sheva Umot, uh, Sheva Umot there's no such thing, you got to kill everybody. You got to kill everybody. The third answer, we're going to end with this, that the mirhamet edit said, he hova akoy se lahalo kulan, veno beyado lehayota. It's not up to you to let her live. You see a girl, I fall in love with her. I want to grab her. It's not up to you. You got to kill everybody. Share, because if you don't kill her, someone else will. Because everyone is obligated to kill everybody. So if that's the case, if you want to say, oh, this one I like, I want to keep, I'm going to walk by, because <laughs> she's got to go. What do you mean? She's got to die. What do you mean? That's what God said. That's what Yeshua said. Like, what did you do that for? What do you want? You said, we're killing everybody. What are, what are you doing here? What do you think this is? Like, oh, it's not Marjan. We're not playing cards. We're killing everybody. That's, that's, it's got to be done. Right? Right? Oh, so that's, that's regarding Sheva Mot Olam. However, regarding all the other Mehamot that, that we do, the shoot, right? Sheva Mot Beyad Kol Ehad Likar Shevi Umakot Ufasheh Benehem. That regarding any other, like, by the way, what's the issue? What's an example of, of a, a war that was done that shoot? Syria. Syria, David Amir captured on his own. He wasn't commanded by God. He went to war, he won. So Syria is the shoot. So, like, we find a girl there, when you're in the war, you could think this would apply, keep this in the But it would not apply if it was for Sheba Motaulam. Alam. You understand? And the third answer we give again is that, again, it's not up to you. If you don't kill, 
if you don't kill her because you want to whatever with her, then someone else is going to come and kill her. Ruben's just going to come and kill the girl for you because it's, I don't know who she is. She's got to die. Regarding other wars, we know we keep all the women separate or whatever uh, as far as we want to keep. And then we all split it. We divvy it up. So Ruben says, no, I got dibs on that one. Okay, you got to deal with that. Fine, keep the me hama. But you still got to kill all the enemies first. All right? As opposed to the seven umot that they, that, that there's, you were radically clean, clean slate. But regarding a regular war, right, that's not hova, you would, you would kill all the enemies and gather all the loot and you would split it accordingly with all the soldiers. That's the difference between hova, mehemet hova, and mehemet reshut, and why you're not allowed, there's no concept of isha yifat to'ad regarding a mehemet hova, and there is one regarding mehemet reshut. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen Amen. Good night. Check out the shorts coming next week.